So this is the second of the uh, 3310 uh, exam review questions and what I'm going to do this time is an EOQ question. So this is another inventory question. The first one was POQ. EOQ is economic order quantity and this is when you order rather than you produce. And so the way to tell the difference is if you have a production rate and whether you're ordering or, or doing it yourself. So let's look at the parameters. Demand is equal to 4,000 units per year. Order cost is equal to 20 per order. Order cost is, syn is synonymous with setup cost. And holding cost is four dollars per unit per year. So the first question is what is the EOQ or, or, or said a, a different way is what is the cost minimizing level of order? And for that, the EOQ formula looks a lot like the POQ formula did is square root of 2D, capital D, which is annual demand S over H, is equal to Q star, another way of saying optimal, square root of 2 times 4,000 times 20 divided by 4 is equal to 200 units. Now uh, let's take a look at a couple of other questions we could ask relative to EOQ. So uh, what is your average inventory? So in this case you order you get uh, 200 units in, your maximum inventory is 200, then you use them at a steady rate uh, and uh, uh, until you get down to zero. So average inventory is Q over 2 is equal to 200 divided by 2 is equal to 100. So what is holding cost? is equal to average inventory times holding cost uh, which was four so is equal to four hundred dollars so your holding cost for that ordering policy is four hundred dollars next question is what is the number of orders per year and that is equal to demand over the quantity you ordered which is just how much do you need how much do you order at a time equals 4,000 divided by 200 equals 20 orders per year and then we could ask What is the setup cost? And that is 20 times 20 orders per year the setup cost is equal to 400. Given you calculated the EOQ, uh, you would know that was 400 because the holding cost was 400. Uh, so you could either just write down 400 or you could calculate it and check that you did both of them the same. So what is the total annual holding cost? Is 400 plus 400 equals 800.
So let's. Th 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 that's essentially uh, it for. Uh, that is essentially it for uh, the EOQ model. But let's just talk about it for a second. What happens to annual inventory costs when a non EOQ quantity is ordered? Say 100 or 300. So if we, we know that 200 is the optimal order quantity, but what happens if we uh, uh, order a non-optimal quantity? So let's look at 100. So total cost for 100 is equal to 4,000 divided by 100 times 20. So this would be setup costs. And you notice that because we're ordering fewer at a time, our setup costs are going to go up because we're going to make more orders. Plus 100 over 2 times 4. So this is going to go down because our average inventory is going to go down. This is holding costs. So what you notice is overall costs went up from 800 to 1000. Holding costs went down because we're holding less inventory, but setup costs went up because we're ordering more times and so we're not at the place where those two are equal and so our total costs have gone up. Similarly at 300, Four thousand divided by three hundred times two plus three hundred divided by two times four. So now you'll see setup costs go down because we're ordering less frequently. But holding costs have gone up because we're ordering more at a time. So, if you order a, a quantity below, total costs go up, setup costs get higher, holding costs go down. If you order a quantity above your economic order quantity, setup costs go down, holding costs go up, and overall costs go up. That's uh, essentially what you need to know for EOQ. The last uh, request I had relative to uh, inventory questions was, to talk about safety stock and I will do that next.